Hi everybody, it's Leah from Lightworkers Lifeline and we are here today to introduce you to one of our Ascension allies. And Ascension allies are people who have expertise and big hearts, um, who have studied and mastered different techniques that can help you get through whatever it is you're going through. And we recognize that we each are so different and there's so many different gifts out there that not any one person can meet all your needs. This mm -hmm. is why we've assembled the allies so that you can kind of lean in and check out which person resonates with you the most. And so we're going to begin so you can get to know Pam. Pam has uh, a peace corner with us and she specializes in deep emotional healing. So if you're looking for someone to work with for grieving, um, Pam is a fabulous person. But so Pam, um, when did you first realize that you were different? or that you walked a different path from other people? Thanks, Leah. I, I want to say really young, um, probably 12, 13, you know, I started to realize that there's something different about how A, I feel, B, how I communicate with people, and really C, how I could see different things around people than other people could, not knowing at that point that it was called their auras. <laughs> Just thought there were different colors around people. And I kind of never really talked to anybody about it. Just kind of took notes in the back of my head, you know, um, I knew that grounding was something that was helping me center. Let's stop. I'm going to pause while the siren goes by. So, you know, there were little signs that I started to really pay attention to, whether it be like, you know, sometimes I could see the bubble over someone's head when their words didn't match their behavior and kind of question those things, just like, hmm, I'm going to think about that. Um, really just trying to pay attention to the actual rocks that I pick up, whether they were crystals or just part of the earth. You know, I had gone to school in Arizona and really spent a lot of time in Sedona. So I had been attracted to a lot of different modalities that were just coming at me and not really understanding how they all would influence my healing. But I was paying attention. So that was, yeah, go ahead. It's so interesting because back in the time that you're describing, people were just beginning to be open to ideas of like, crystal healing and there wasn't much written about much you know and even though we didn't invent crystal healing crystal healing has been with humanity for pretty much as long as there's been humanity all the information has been taken away from plain sight over and over again throughout history which right. is interesting you know but so each of us is recreating the wheel up until now human beings still need to recreate their own wheel but we're getting into a place where there are some of us that can really help teach so sorry i digress there a little bit it's so, okay what did your great awakening look like you know that point at which your life felt like it was all wrong and you probably, it probably started falling apart too. That's correct. When did yeah. that happen for you? 1986. Um, I had moved back from Hawaii. I had been through a divorce. I had had a 
new child. I was working in the restaurant industry and just knew everything was wrong. I had participated in heavy drinking, heavy drug use, you know, very promiscuous and just knew this is not the path that I want to be on at all. And it was literally driving down the highway four in the morning going like my higher self said, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> and I had a conversation with you. Yes. As they say, conversations with God. And I honestly said, I want to change everything. And at that point, I found a coach, a mentor that said, well, you just have to change your playground, your playmates and your playthings. <laughs> and I was so ready. I literally threw my hands up and said, show me the way, show me the way. So I stuck with that coach for about six years, you know, quit the job, changed friends, started my spiritual path and literally just was like, I can do this. I didn't know what it looked like. You know, I had been using the drugs and alcohol as a crutch to just get through my day. I, I honestly, I could not function without smoking my joint, doing a shot. Here you go. I'm ready. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. I and it didn't work out. <laughs> and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. You know, I had been living in really nice climates, only having to come back to Chicago and go, here I am again, starting over. And it was just how it was supposed to happen. You know, you're not alone with that by any means. So many of us have encountered that things aren't working and we just don't have any idea where to go or how to change things. So the practices that you use are basically the ones that um, helped you the most get over what you're doing. So you just studied them and became a master at them. Correct. You know what? We cannot control people, places, or things. We cannot control the patterns and behaviors that were shown us as little kids. You know, we just learned by watching. And that doesn't have to be the blueprint that we live from today. We can totally unlearn those things. I call it reparenting, you know? We can nurture our inner child. We can go back to those traumas that literally shaped our future and re-transform them is what it is. We heal those issues whether it be the smoking, the weight gain, the depression, the anxiety, all those things really stem from the trauma. And when the trauma is healed, you have a new life. You have a new path. You don't operate from those issues anymore. Right. It's like you're putting on a whole new set of landscape glasses that show you a completely different landscape. So you're just not even dealing with the same playing field that you had been. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Well, and I can tell you all from experience that Pam's energy is deeply grounded and deeply rooted. She always reminds me of a mountain. You know, there's just this peace and this real sense of depth with it. And working with her you know, I have felt very safe in opening up and really excavating, you know, some of the oldest traumas. And I like the way Pam uses hypnosis to help you um, get into a state where you're really receptive and open to transforming these things. And I've been watching how my life has shifted and unfolded differently from that moment of working with her. So I highly recommend trying it if you feel drawn to Pam and her work. 
Um, so that would be it. And the only thing I wanted to ask you a couple more. So is how long do your clients typically work with you? You know, typically it's for three to six weeks. It just depends on your own process. It's really up to you. Um, we go into the meditation state. That's where we're going to do the hypnosis. Your inner self is going to guide you to what wants to come up, what wants to be healed. And we just do some recordings after that to help cement the change, the transformation that's going to take you on your new path. You know, it's profound. It's painless. It's, n it's not like some new wave thing it's literally years of study and practice that have helped us you know heal heal from our deep wounds well and it helped you develop the uh, the actual like techniques to get you to that place and Correct. yeah i did not find when i was working with pam it wasn't like it re-brought up a lot of trauma at all um, it's more that afterwards, my relationship to the things that caused me pain really started shifting and changing. And one of them also is that, you know, I lost my father when I was very young. And after working with Pam, within just a few days, I really started to feel this solid relationship with my father where I could really feel his presence. And, you know, that is so valuable to me having lost him at three. So, um, you know, the there's subtle things that unfold from this type of work that you almost can't anticipate, uh, which is one of the reasons that it's really great just to dive in and try it if you feel, you know, at all drawn to it. Um, and then, so what do the results look like for most of your clients? Is there a typical thing you could point to? You know, I think the triggers are what is the biggest thing. There's no longer the triggers. Because it's been transformed, muted, you know, alleviated, those old triggers that used to have you be reacting and, you know, in fear and panic, anxiety, they don't happen anymore. So. And also the fears that you may be having that may be preventing you from having relationships. Mm -hmm. Because what opened for me was this relationship with my father. Mm -hmm. But it was me changing that allowed that. It's not like Pam went up there and like brought my father down. You know what I'm saying? It's to open something in me. Yeah. So this is, you know, again, the doorways to everything are within us. Our internal space is really the new frontier. Like, you know, Captain Kirk used to say space, yeah. the new frontier, but it's really in here is the new frontier and everything we can do to open and access and let go of the mental prejudices that keep us from truly connecting with this you know divine source that we have within us it's yes. uh, such a beautiful thing when you start to connect to it um, so how can people get in touch with you if they well, want to work with you there's a couple ways, you know, if they're on WhatsApp, if they're on Facebook, if they're on Instagram, they just want to email me, feel free. You can do that. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Yeah. So also here on um, Ascension Ally. The Ascension Ally and Pam's Corner, you can also reach out to her here and you can sign up directly to work with her through this page too. So whatever your comfort level, if you want to have a conversation first, or if you want to just jump right in, we try and make it easy for you. And the last question is, what do you like most about what you do? I love watching people totally transform their lives. They, you know, they start with this 
panic, this fear, this uncomfortability, and watching them really get in touch with their inner divine self is why I do this work. It's such a blessing. Really, it is. It is. Yeah. And it's like, you know, anytime anybody achieves that state, mm -hmm. it's a vibration that goes out that we all can feel. So right. every time it's like a bell, you know, every time that bell is rung, it like for everybody whose hearts are open, it passes through us and enriches us too. You know, it's amazing the way the whole thing is interconnected. It is. We are raising this entire vibration of the planet one soul at a time. We are all connected. Everything you just stated is correct. So let's go. Let's get it done. <laughs> so it's been really nice chatting with you. And thank you, you so much for being a part of one of the best parts of Ascension Allies and Lightworkers Lifeline. And It's an honor. Thank you, Leah. I love this part of our connection. It's humbling, really. I look forward to doing more work with you. Awesome. Me too. All right. Thank you, everybody. And I hope you've enjoyed this and reach out to Pam if you feel so inclined. Mm -hmm.